My first upgrade for the Mac Pro 2013 is 64GB of ECC RAM from OWC Otherworld Computing's website. It was $149.99. And I think it's going to be well worth it. I am upgrading from the 32 gigabytes that came with my Mac Pro. One of the most fun things to do with this Mac Pro is to open it up by switching the latch over and pulling straight up on the outer shell. It might take a few tries to get it open, but eventually it'll pop off. Once the top is popped off, you'll see two sides with two sticks of RAMs in each nodule port. What you want to do is gently pull this switch up. The RAM will pop open like this and you have to gently pull each RAM stick out of its port. And out pops the Sky Hynix RAM. Now I have seen some complaints about the OWC RAM and as you could tell the Apple RAM that's inside of this is black and the OWC RAM is green and there were literally people complaining about the color. RAM that you will not see unless you have the outer shell off. How stupid and petty can people be? I got the Mac all loaded up, which is a pretty good sign for whether or not this RAM works. Now, if you are new to Mac, you will find your RAM on the Apple on the top left, and then click about this Mac. Awesome! It shows memory, which is your RAM, at 64 gigabytes, 1866 millihertz, DDR3. Some people will crack up at the DDR3, but guess what? I have not had one issue with this Mac at all with DDR3 RAM for video editing, for 3D modeling on um, Cinema 4D and After Effects, and for just importing and exporting models on After Effects and Blender as well. And I do have a 10 core CPU coming soon that I will be upgrading the processor with to make this one of the most ultimate Mac Pro 2013s that you can make. It's always, always important to test out your RAM to make sure it does what it's supposed to do. As you can tell, I have OBS open because I'm recording with it right now here. I've also got the App Store open and downloading updates. I've also got Disk Utility open, iMovie is open, Final Cut Pro is open, Adobe After Effects is open, Photoshop is open, Premiere Pro is open, and the Finder is open. And I've got a multi-track project in Premiere Pro open right now. What I want to see is my RAM usage currently and my CPU usage currently to test out the RAM and Activity Monitor. It looks like CPU is at this 10%, users 36%, at idle it's 51% with all these open threads and processes. Boom, right there. Let's go to the memory, and as you can see, memory right now with them all open is at around 12 to round it up 13 as well if it goes over the 50 mark. 13 gigabytes out of 64. Wired memory is at 4, and app memory is at 8.42. Physical memory is 64 gigabytes, so it is showing up on Activity Monitor as well, which is absolutely incredible. Now, I'm not going to show the whole export. I just want to see how much the memory increases when I export a 1080p 60 frames per second video at 30 megabytes per second, which is what my camera that filmed this video shot at. So, 30 and not intro we will do we will move this actually to that folder and so that I don't fry my computer while oh wow it's already at 1% I will be upping this to the max so you might actually hear it but I don't want to fry my computer so now we're at 3% and not even 15 seconds has gone by 4% and then bringing up the activity monitor going to memory it says currently it did go up a bit but still we're not even tapping into the 64 it is at 18.8 oh 18.94 so around 19 gigabytes is being used 
with all these programs open. Some people are probably going to say, have Safari open. Okay, I'll give you that. Now Safari is open. And now it went up to 19.61. Which, again, like you can have all this open and no stutter and no lag. And I am noticing faster exports. So what I will do is quit. Quit Photoshop. Quit After Effects. Quit Final Cut Pro. Quit iMovie. Quit Disk Utility. Quit Black Magic Cinema. And then quit the update on the App Store. And as you can see, the memory went down by 4 gigabytes. Looks like After Effects does not want to close. And there we go. And do, 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 do. it's still around 14. But that's still that's incredible that is absolutely incredible this ram has made this machine so much better i went from 32 and once it got to around 19 to 20 gigabytes you know some kind of slow down a little bit um and the fact that this hasn't slowed down at all with all that open absolutely incredible definitely worth it and if you have owc or apple ram OWC.com, OtherworldComputing.com, will allow you to trade in your RAM for a rebate. And with 32 gigabytes of RAM, they are giving $40 rebates. So the 150 to 160 I spent on this, I'll be getting a $40 rebate. I'll have only spent 110 or 120 as soon as they get it, verify it, and then send me the check. So I basically got this for 110, 120 bucks, depending on how much they give me back. And I think it's incredible to go from 32 gigabytes to 64 gigabytes and keep the speed. And as you can tell, we're 29% into the video exporting. And I haven't had any crashes. Haven't had anything go wrong. The RAM hasn't stopped working. Perfect. Definitely get it. Because you want the 64 gigabyte for the Mac Pro 2013. Some people say, well, you can get 96. You can get 128, I believe. Yeah, but you take a massive performance hit. It goes down to, I think it's 1,066 speed instead of 1,866. And you will notice a huge slowdown. But yeah, definitely get this RAM if you can.